Okay, today we're going to make a hydro power model and what we're going to need is a ruler, a marker, some scissors. You're going to need two corks, one of which has been cut um, and it's been marked out with a marker so you can see where the cuts are. You're going to need two paper clips, a barbecue skewer, a bottle, some thread, a funnel, duct tape, blue tack, a bowl and a jug. Okay, you will need another bottle, but your teacher would have already cut that into a cylinder like this. For the next part, you need to cut the cylinder into eight sections, roughly about two centimetres wide. Use the scissors like this. You don't need to be very accurate, you don't need a ruler as such, but you do need to make sure that they're pretty even. So what I suggest is you cut it like so, cut it in half, and then roughly gauge four sections out of this. So I'm going to cut this one in half, and in half again. Can you see it just like that? I'm going to do it for this one. So now I've got four. And from the other half of the bottle, I'm going to make four as well by cutting it in half and then cutting each length in half again. With the length, you need to insert them into the cork. The cork you need to use is this one that has already been marked out for you. So although you might not be able to see the indents where your teacher has cut it with a craft knife, you will be able to see where it's been marked out because she will have lined it with a black marker. Get each part, be very careful because the corners are sharp even though it's plastic and carefully insert them into the cork. This might be tricky and it might take a little bit of force but you must be careful not to press too hard. So there's one, here's the second one, they're quite easy, make sure that they're aligning as well and go all the way around until you've got the eight of them in. This is going to be one of the main parts of the model and it will show you exactly how hydropower can be used in the environment to create electricity. Okay, so you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Making sure that you're not hurting yourself on the edges and just make sure that they are securely in and they're not popping out. So what you need to do is looking at it this way, face on, make sure all of the edges are going the same way so that you can imagine it moving through water and pushing it out the way so they're all curving this way. Okay, the next step is to trim the edges. The length of these plastic blades needs to be the same length as the cork. So what I'm going to do is roughly, one by one, trim them using the edge of the cork as a guide. Can you see? They're coming off really nicely and you should be making sure that you're not touching the corners as they are quite sharp. Okay, you need to unfold your paper clips for the next part. These are going to be your supports on the top of your funnel. They should look like this and I'm going to show you how you do it now. Your paper clip looks like this and very simply you unfold it. Can you see? So it looks almost like a big S. <clears throat> then what you do is take the top bit and just bend it behind. So the S isn't an S, it's a loop, and then it goes, goes down, okay? This bit is gonna go against the funnel, if I show you here. And the loop is gonna act as a support for a rod that you're gonna pop in. You need to make sure that you're securing it with really strong tape, because we don't want it moving. You can always bend the paper clip to make sure that it stays still. One piece of tape might not be enough, so I put two on just to be sure, but gauge it. Gauge it with your group and see what they think. You've now got a funnel that looks something like this. Make sure that the loop is the big part of the paper clip. Your teacher will explain that further. Okay, so you now have something that looks a little bit like this. Your teacher's already put two holes, some part through the cork on this side, this side as well. So your next job is to get your skewer and simply cut it in half. Be careful as it may fly across the classroom. We don't want it to hurt anybody. So just make sure that you're careful with it. So with the two halves like this, 
one is meant to go in one end and the other half is meant to go in the other side of the cork like so. They're not going to go all the way in, you just need to push them slightly so you can see that it will hold the cork. Now the idea is that the cork goes in here and the skewers go through the paper clips. So how you're going to do that is just leave one of the parts of the skewer on, thread it through, and once the cork is there, it's much easier to put the other half on then, like so. You need to make sure that the paper clips aren't too tight because the idea is that we want this wheel to turn freely. Can you see? This is the equipment you need for the next part. We're going to be measuring some cotton to tie around the next cork. We're going to measure out roughly 60 centimetres using a small ruler. Trim it when you've got about 16 centimetres in length. Then what you need to do is tie one end around the cork. Tie it in a double knot because we don't want it to come off and it needs to be quite strong. So if it's looking a little bit loose, tie it another couple more times. Okay, that should be all right. Now the idea is that your thread should be the length of the bottle. So as you can see, 60 centimetres is far too long. You need to trim it. So if somebody holds it just about there, just give it a quick trim at the bottom and it should be a better length. Can you see I've only got a little bit off the ground now? I'm then going to insert the end of this cork on the skewer. Pushing it in, it won't fit all the way, but just making sure that it is secure. Like so. Your friend might need to support the funnel while you're doing it. Your friend should be holding the funnel to make it nice and secure. And then you need to estimate probably a size of blue tack amount of a pea and squish it on the end of the thread, making sure it's secure. It should be weighted. So if you let go of your funnel, it's going to lean this way. But somebody can support the funnel and then it will look like this. Okay. For the purpose of the demonstration, the cork has been at this end, but because you're going to be pouring water on it to test it, you need to have the curves of the blades facing you, so it's going to look like a backward C. Now your friend is going to pour the water at an angle into the curves, and look at that go, it's producing kinetic energy that is moving the piece of blue tack that has been attached to the thread at the top of the cork. How fab is that? In a real hydropower station, the energy that would be produced, however, is electricity.